Hi everybody, it's Trisha from Huntress Habits and I'm glad you're joining me today, especially after my last video. If you need a good laugh, go watch the last half of it. And we'll continue with our new maker project right after this. <laughs> I need to always take time to thank Ron Kruger, uh, one of my faithful patrons, and uh, new patrons this week would be Dusty Ling and Jennifer Newhouse. Now, before I go much further, I want to tell you about yesterday's video. I was making an unboxing of the Cricut Maker. And about halfway through, my fibro fog hit, and I just, it was like I had never set up a, a machine before. And, you know, I could blame it on that. That's what I'm doing, okay? Uh, so if you need a good laugh, because the last half, but, 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 I solved my problem right before the end. And I have to say, Cricut on their three steps when you go to set up the maker where it gets to the point of the using the cord they should put and if you don't use a cord pair your computer with the maker and that be whether you're using anything i was thinking back if i had been using my phone or my tablet which you can do real easy with the maker. You can even get a charger. I had, didn't mention that. You can charge it while you're using it. But anyway, let's go on. And I'll show you that somewhere down the line if you don't know how. Let's make our first new project. And here it is. You're only a cutaway. And we have materials to go along with that that came with our maker and let me show you those if you didn't see them in the video go back and watch it is really funny you get a 6 by 12 sheet of white cardstock you get a this color blue unless they change it to this color because it's much prettier and that's what we're going to use because I've already used this one. And then you get a material, a fabric like this. And I have that complete sheet of fabric, minus the kite that I've already cut out, on my fabric mat that came with the maker. So, letting you know what all is in here, we'll take it out, and we're going to get to making. Set this aside. That's a good place for it. Okay, let's go back to our display right now. Okay, once you are finished with the setup, and if you look up here in the address, because it'll tell you to go to cricut.com forward slash setup, and it will walk you through step by step. Once you're done with that, it's going to take you to design cricut.com. This is where you make stuff. This is your creating point where you get to start using the maker as it should be. Okay? So what we want to do first 
We don't want to say no things. We want to continue. This is the screen that will pop up. And it's immediately going to take you to the project that you're going to be making. Right here. It'll tell you to click on it. Okay, it walks you step by step. See how it highlights? Tells you anytime you're making one of the projects off of Design Space, it gives you something, some instructions very similar to this. But we're going to skip that right now because usually I show some of that in my free images or my free cut Friday. So let's go down here like it says and make it when that happens it takes me to design space and it tells me how to prepare my mat you don't have to do any designing on this project Cricut has done it for you okay so what I do at this point it tells me this is where you your project gets automatically sorted by order onto individual mats. The project only has one mat. Click and continue. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to take a moment. My Cricut Maker is on, but my Wi-Fi is slow. So it's going to take just a moment for it to Bluetooth together. And while we're waiting on that, because it shouldn't be this slow. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, Maker is there. Almost. It should stop turning any second. There we go. And now we have to set the material. Well, what material are we using? It shows you over here on the mat that we're using a medium cardstock. So I click on that and then it tells you to load your pen. Well, wait a minute, we haven't even gotten the material on the mat yet. So let's go over here and let's pull out our light grit Cricut mat that came with the maker. I took the cover off of it. You need to keep that cover. And then you need to place right under where it says Cricut. Place your paper right there at that corner. Now you can be a sixteenth of an inch off, an eighth of an inch off, but never go over a quarter. Okay? Let's see if you can see that better when I focus up here. So you want to be pretty close to that corner. And if you turn the mat around, which you can do, I could have put it on this side. Doesn't matter which side you put it on. As long as it says Cricut on one of the sides that you insert into the machine. Okay. Our next instructions are to open clamp A. And put the pin in. So, okay, we'll do that, I guess. And my machine is actually waiting on all of this. So, while I do it, there we go. There is a pin, I'll put it in. And I'm going to hold the bottom as I put it in. Because you want it to hear it click. Once you hear it click, and you've got your mat on each side in there correctly, you can push the flashing button, which is going to be the arrows that go up and down. 
Then if you notice down here in the corner, it's telling you press go. Well, that's going to be the flashing button, the next flashing button that is has the cricket symbol on it. Okay, and you're hearing music right now because when I video this, Penny threw a fit. She started barking and I said, well, we can just do something else. So, on the screen, let's see, press go, and I'm doing that over here on the machine that I'm having to make do it in order to get to the next step. Can you see down here where it's preparing? That's what you would be seeing on your screen. And now, in the background, you can hear the noise a little bit. Hopefully, it's just a little bit. And mine has started drawing. Whereas you've already seen it draw on the screen. Mine shows to be 8%. That's what you're seeing in this bottom corner. Same thing that I have on the screen that you would be looking at while it cuts. I'm sorry, it's drawing right now. We're still drawing with that pen. And I'm using the blade that came in the machine. When I opened it up, it was already in there. I didn't have to change anything out yet. Okay. Now it's cutting the card out. First, it checks to see if that's the right tool. That's how smart this machine is. Now, once it's finished, I'm going to click that flashing button and take it out. I'm going to peel the paper off. And this is what we will have right here okay now when it gets through cutting it's going to tell you to fold this in half so we're going to go ahead and do that I just creased it all the way down and if you'll notice it's cut this area right here we're going to be placing that little blue card into those holes that have been cut at each corner. Oh, I made that one too long. Remember, this is the one I made. So we're not going to place it in those bottom two just yet. Yeah, we're going to cut it. Let's cut it. Let's do it right. And I'm using the cut Cricut Baker. I mean the Cricut Blade Cutter. And you know, I probably should measure what this blue one was. It is five and a quarter. That's what I thought I cut this at. Five and a quarter. No, I cut it at five and a half. The full A2 size. That's why it's not fitting. Okay. Let's place it in here now. We're over halfway done, guys, with the first project. Okay. Now, let's see. What does it say on that screen to do? We want to press load and unload and take it out. 
then we want to open clamp A. That's where the pin is and take it out. Remove our cardstock by flipping the mat. And if you watch the screen when that was doing, that's what I did. And then we will continue. So let me click continue. Oh, it's not going to let me until I actually do it on the machine. So we're going to take the mat out. We're going to take the pin out. And then it will let me. Looky there. Okay. Fold card in half. We're insert, we inserted the liner. Way to go. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to continue. We're going to embellish the card. Now this is where it takes you a step farther. Farther. We're going into design space. So let's click continue. And in just a moment, it's going to walk you through the next step. Let's start a new project. Click on the new project button. And this actually should be down there. So it may take me somewhere else. Okay, let's go back and try that again. It's just not highlighting the right one and it's probably my computer because it did it correctly earlier. Okay, here we go. Now it's going to take me through the project again. Here we go. Click on New Project. Yay! Now, what does it tell me to do? This is where you create your own projects from scratch and make edits to existing projects. So, we want to add an image to the canvas. Click on Images. And we're going to need to type in the word kite, is what it says. So we've done that, and then we click on the search button. And it's the first image that comes up. It says, this kite looks nice. Let's click on this image. I like the other kites too, but this is the one you want to use for this project. Now we're going to insert that image. And notice the kite comes right down here next to that. In case you're new, anytime you click on the image. Now, they're telling us that they like the size, so we don't want to do anything to it. And they're not, we're not going to change the color because we're actually using that fabric, remember, that has little dots on it. So let's make it. Okay, well, we have to prepare the mat, and I've already done that for you. It's just like we did the paper. We laid the fabric on there and made sure no wrinkles are there, and then we press continue. Now, remember what I said about saving those top plastic parts? You want to do that always because the it keeps your mats clean. There are ways to clean them just with a damp cloth and some mild soapy water but on the fabric mat you only want to maybe take off a few fibers here and there when it gets really bad you don't want to use any water on it it's a different adhesive okay now this is where we want to set our material and it's telling us that that fabric they sent us is cotton so we want to click here and since it is a fabric, it's telling us to change the blade. So we have to go in there and change it.
You're going to see it on the screen in just a second. How that's done, and I'll walk you through it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this one started over here. Try to get it going about the same time that that one does. Okay. It says the blade is in there, so we press continue. We got the fabric on there, and now we press the arrows. Okay. Once that starts, it starts preparing. Oh, after we click the overhead. Let's just show you the video where I've already done it. Okay, here's where I took it out. And you're going to hear it on this one, both on the video and in live here. Now, the reason I pointed to that tip is because the tip of that uh, fine blade is sticking out a little bit, and you need to know that because you don't want to poke yourself with it. Okay, and you put that straight edge up against the machine at that plastic top, and then you want to make sure it clicks solid when you put it in. Take that cover off, but hold on to it. And I marked the top of mine. Uh, the fabric one with, that comes with the maker already has a sticker on it saying that it's for fabric. But uh, any other, you might want to put your own sticker on there or maybe just a piece of tape or something to let you know that's the top of the mat. That way you're putting the clean side, you're taking care of it better. The side that goes to the adhesive needs to be your clean, pretty side. Because this does create, that plastic creates a uh, static and it will uh, collect dust. You know, dog hair, cat hair, whatever's in your house. So try to protect the side that goes against the adhesive. Now, this is where the, oh, I knew something would pop up. Okay, there we take it out. And that's what the big screen is telling me. So let's get over there to it. We're taking it off of there, and there is our kite. And that's just what it tells us to do, is unload the mat and continue. Did I, oh, I pressed the wrong continue. Did I? Maybe? There we go. Now all we have to do is adhere it to our project. And we're going to do that right here. Okay. When I take the material off, it leaves the piece that was cut on the mat. You can take it out, take it off. Remember, you want to keep this part clean. So, the part with the sticker or whatever that you put on it, place that right back on there. And I store mine, I've seen them stored in all sorts of different ways, but I store mine on the back of a door that goes from one room to the other. And no one knows it's there but me, because when that door is open, it's up against the wall, nobody sees it. And when it's shut, the only thing that is in that room with the door shut are the birds so the birds get to look at the mats so and you probably want to become a patron that can watch my behind the scene videos and see how Sheba attacked me she almost got me the other day okay let's put our fabric on here I'm not using the fabric glue I'm using the tacky glue that works really well 
It's the glue I usually use just because I don't have to order it. And that put a little bit much so it may ease out the sides. But with this being a fabric, it's probably going to soak it up. And I know it will hold it and dry quickly. Okay. Now I have, whoop, get that wrinkle out of there. I knew the phone was going to ring today. I knew it. Okay, y'all ready for this? Welcome to HHRP. You are on the air. Thank you for calling. I saw that on Facebook yesterday. I said, that's what I'm going to do next time I get a call during... Uh, a Facebook Live. Okay, here's our cards. And I hope that you are able to learn a little bit from this video. If you are trying to decide to get a maker, get it. We're going to be doing a lot of projects on it that you can't do on the Air 2s. So, enjoy and go back and watch what i'm saying is enjoy the day but go back and watch that last video with me unboxing it <laughs> it's hilarious toward the end and when you watch some of the my fibro fibromyalgia videos you will understand what all went on during that <laughs> it's really hilarious so let's call it a day. Remember to subscribe, ring the bell, comment, share, and take care of that thumb. Don't forget to check out patreon.com, Huntress Habits, and think about becoming a patron. And remember always that teachers, no matter what they are, they'll still lead to your destiny. Have a great day. Enjoy it.